Hello Marvel Strike Force fans, it is your friend, the Fasting Comic Guy here, and today I am going to purchase the Toad character who is new to the game, so you can find out if he's any good or not. So a brief, brief history on the character, Toad was first introduced in the X-Men number 4 back in 1964. He was also played by Ray Park in the X-Men movie. I actually got to meet Ray Park, and I even got a photo op with him, which was pretty cool. So, what I did was I bought one of the offers, which is right over here, 34 bucks, so 35 bucks actually. So that's just great. Let's see how good I am at getting these offers, right? So I'm going to open them up real quick. Before I do that, I want to don't do the multiple orbs because I want to see what each individual one will do. And I also got some gold orbs to help hopefully maybe I'll get lucky and because it's going to cost a lot to level them up. So let's see here. So the first orb opening will be for Toad. And the first offer gives you eight openings. And even if I had like the worst luck on the planet, I should have enough to unlock him. He is a 45 unlock. So even if I got six per for all eight, I will get 48. So I'll still be able to unlock them. But may I'll be lucky, maybe I'll get that 180. Let's see here. So first one, eight. Ooh. Oh, I got to, oh, 10. You know, whenever I see a blue, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be like 20, but no. Six, okay. What else do I got? I got a six. Come on. Eight. I got some pretty bad luck here. Oh, there's a blue. Ten, all right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him to another star above the bare minimum. Eight. All right, what are we going to do here? So they say, I heard some people say, when it's over here, this thing, if you click on it, it's supposed to give you a really good drop, but... So let's wait for this little arm thing to get over. Come on. Click. All right, let's see here. And, oh, six. Wow, the very worst. Okay, so don't do that theory from what I heard. So I got a total of 62. So that is just enough to unlock them. Go to the recruit tab. One, ah, so I got them at two stars here. I am going to level them up a bit and we will try them out in a Brotherhood team and some Blitzes. And I will try them out with Sabretooth and with Mystique. So we will be able to see which one that we do. So, how much will it cost them to go from 1 to 60? Ooh, I don't have enough gold. Alright, let's quickly, uh, let's see what we got here for... Now, when it comes to opening up gold orbs, I actually like opening up all of them at once because I feel like... I got slightly better luck with that. So for the gold orbs, I will just open them all up at once. Let's see where. So we got a total of six. When I bought that first offer, opened up another one, which basically gave me some more stuff. So what did I get? I didn't get very much. Not even a million gold. I love it. All right. So let's go back to our toad character. Brotherhood of Mutants. So, and we'll also go over his uh, kit here real quick before we go in there. And we have a rescue blitz going on right now. So, we got towed up to level 60. Let's see how we do with gear wise, though. Five thousand five hundred for the next set. He's a pretty cool looking character. I like that they changed the color of his skin. Fun story about Ray Park. When I went to meet him, he was not like a because I live up here in Canada, and I thought it was funny because he was complaining about all the snow. It was a at the end of April too, so I can understand why he probably didn't like the snow. Let's see, what more do we got here? Yeah, we're up to tier six. I'll be surprised if I can get them higher than that, but. Okay, tier seven. 
Yeah, like, he's not going to be anywhere near what all my other characters are, because, uh... Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I need these things. Oh, okay. Alright, now we'll just upgrade some of his abilities. At least do all the blues. Me, personally, if I could, I would use up all these tier 3 ones, but I... I'm not one of the rich ones like you see on other YouTube channels. I'm more... I do spend quite a bit of money on this game, and even I don't have anywhere near what the resources what those other players have. So even for a free-to-play person, I'm pretty sure they'd even have difficulty a bit. So I managed to get them up to... Look at that. 5, 4, 4, 2. Tier 7. And he's level 60, and I got him up to 11,000. That is quite sad. <laughs> but, so let's check out his kit real quick. So right now his current uh, basic attack is called Tongue Lash. Attack primary target for 180 damage, plus apply offense down for one turn, and slow for two turns. Actually, that slow for two turns is really nice. Same with the offense down. And if I actually did manage to upgrade again, it'd be an extra 30 and an extra 50. So that's actually, it's not bad to basic actually. Uh, like the damage isn't that great, but the offense down and the slow for two turns is really nice. Uh, we got Acid Spray. We got attack primary and all adjacent targets for 170 damage. Each target has three random negative effects prolonged by one duration. 30% uh, damage if I upgrade it again. And each target has a random negative effect duration prolonged. Has all the random. Well, okay, that's not too bad. So basically, once you throw a whole bunch of negative effects on people, that will pretty much stick with them. Okay, here we go. Gain 10% dodge chance on spawn, fill 50% speed bar, fill an extra 15% per Brotherhood ally. That's really nice. 20% chance to gain assist from each ally turn. That's pretty good. And if I upgrade him again, actually, wait, do I still? Well, on turn, if a Brotherhood ally is taunting, gain one offense up and a maximum of three in war. So this is actually good. It's nice as uh, basic. You could use them both offense or defense. So in war, plus 30% focus. Brotherhood allies gain 30% focus. So that's really, really nice. Especially since he does that uh, flipping the, what do you call it? Where was it? Yeah. Uh, chain. Oh, I didn't even read this one. Leapfrog. Clear two negative effects from self. Apply taunt and defense to ally blob. So, basically with him you need to have blob on your team. Which we already knew if you were checking out other uh, YouTube channel stuff. So, that's my toad. I am going to quickly go over here. Oh, and let's see how things go. So, I will just load my standard Brotherhood team. Which is going to be really, really overpowered for this. So right now, since I don't have Blob or anything like that, when Blob is around, we will be replacing Sabretooth and Mystique. So I'll start right now with just Sabretooth, and we'll toss Blob in there. Luckily, this is the very beginning of the Blitz, so it should actually be a little bit more realistic. So, wow, that really didn't do too much. What does this thing? So, Toad, this is your dodge chance stuff. And, yeah, the synergies didn't really uh, bounce around too much, did they? Like, you got all these things, but... Alright, well, let's see how things go. Probably Toad, honestly, shouldn't be behind that character. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, he'll probably just get, like, just slapped and killed really, really easily from any splash damage. So let's, uh, let's do that a little bit. Let's do the placements a little bit more professional. Alright, so what do we got here? We got that, that. Mm, let's see, I'm liking, I'm liking this. No, I don't like you. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, we'll try this guy. Got a new load stream, got the Cyclops. Cyclops is a pretty darn good character for the X-Men. Yeah, 
Yeah, Toad's a pretty good character in the comic books. Later on, he did actually leave the regular Brotherhood to start his own Brotherhood team, but they did more petty crime instead of uh, real crimes. So, what do we got here? We got... Uh, do I want... No, I like to attack Scarlet Witch first. Who is dead? That was nice. Because, I, I don't know, the reason why I go after Scarlet Witch is just because she throws all those... She just redistributes everybody's uh, health and I just find it really annoying when I'm trying to kill somebody. And we got a nice big... That's all the bleeds to everybody, except for Vision, apparently. Got more instead. Spider-Man's dead. Vision's hurting them really hard. Got the bl heel blocks. Alright, not bad, actually. Like, I don't think he actually did too much for the entire team, but uh, it's not too bad. I will actually, I'll try, I'll do it again. Uh, this time I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to try and get this up to tier 5 and we'll see how things go and I'll switch out Sabretooth for Mystique. So be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and we're at tier 5.1 or 5.25 I guess because there's no four there. And so let's see here. We got this team, we got that team, blue paint, nope. <laughs> no. So I guess we're doing this team because yeah, black bolt. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're going to go against. We're going to go against these guys here. They're still a pretty annoying team. And even Yondu, he's not the very, he's not the powerful one, so I'm kind of worried about these two characters, actually. Well, actually, even Spider-Man could be pretty bad. So let's see how we do here. Bullseye, he's like a glass jaw, basically. He doesn't hurt you. But he'll hurt you really, really hard, but he doesn't really take much to kill him, to be honest. So... But with Drax there, keeping him occupied, it's going to be keeping everyone else occupied. It's going to be a little bit difficult. So let's see what happens here. We're going to keep it in times three mode this time. So everyone's blinded. Yondu's already dead. Actually, I'll keep a target on him. Ooh, ouch. Look at that, my guy's already almost dead just because he's so weak. Alright, not doing too bad. Slows are tough. Man, look at all these debuffs on the other team. Well, that was just laughably easy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring it up to tier 7 and we'll see how things go from there. All right, be right back again. All right, guys, I'm back. I got up to tier seven, so I decided to keep Mystique in it. This will just be my last uh, test footage for the Bliss. So we did it in one, went by really easy. Tier five went by pretty easy as well. So yeah, we'll just do it again and see how things go over here with a tier seven. So yeah, tier seven, once it gets up to tier seven, things get a lot more difficult. And we got the Black Bolt here. Apparently, uh, they just released a kit for Red Skull, which is pretty cool. So things are going. He's jumping around like a crazy guy. Stuff coming in from everywhere. Yeah, it's too bad. I might have missed Mystique on the Brotherhood team, but yeah, it is what it is, right? Same with Sabretooth. But I do feel like Blob and Toad, like they were on the original. Well, I know Toad was for sure. 
and there goes Toad. Yeah, this team will definitely be able to easily do it as is. Like I said, Toad isn't really the strongest guy right now in the team. Uh, once he's maxed out, I guess I would say it'll be a lot more easy to know for sure if he's like worth it or not. But as is, even though I he got him, I got him up to level 60, which is basically the minimum. I got all of his uh, blue abilities upgraded. I got most of his gear added to him. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of gear. They've been adding a lot of mutants lately with Cyclops. I'm using up all my blue gear, so wasn't able to get him up there, unfortunately. As far as high as I would like to. But, based on what I've seen, he's a pretty cool character, Toad. I would definitely, if you're a person that does pay a bit in the game, and you do like your brotherhood and you like your marauders and you want to kind of have them both separate and you want to work on like both of them separately then I would say get Toad probably in the future make sure if you're going to get Toad make sure you get Blob basically because unless you're going to finish up the team don't bother with Toad and uh, for the future when they do add another marauders character then you'll just be ready for that but yeah, as is basically, this team is, that's the current Brotherhood team right now, for most people anyways. This, it's going to be, until Blob is in the mix, you're not going to basically uh, worry about it. So yeah, unless you're planning on like getting Blob, don't worry about Toad. If you're a free-to-play player, then probably you could use your, wait till they become farmable maybe. But, yeah, unless the Brotherhood is like your main team, then I wouldn't worry about it. I'd wait just, I'd probably wait till they're farmable if you're a free to play player. If you're a person that does like to play a lot and pay to get ahead in the game, then yeah, get Toad as long as you plan ahead to get the Blob. Otherwise, don't worry about it. So, yeah, I'd say out of all the characters that they've released recently, Toad is a character that you can probably uh, skip. And before I leave you guys today, I am going to say I also, because that picture that I showed earlier with uh, Toad, the actor that played Toad, I also got to meet Hawkeye in real life, and I got a picture of him. So this is me and my friends and my girlfriend. I'm the one on the very far uh, right. And that was me when I was about 100 pounds, 150 pounds lighter. So, yeah, I got a lot to do to work to get back there on my fast. So, thank you, everybody. If you enjoyed this video and you thought it was a little bit helpful, please hit the subscribe button on the left. And to check out other relevant videos, hit the button on the right. Have a good day, have a good night, and have a good morning. Peace.